Welcome to Metaverse DGen. We're doing something a bit different today. We're doing a little questionnaire in the world that we're in. And so some of the questions that we're going to be asking is uh, what attracted you to VR and how did it affect you today? And here are some of the clips. So what has brought you to VR? So, I mean, I started out playing because a friend of mine started and it seemed kind of interesting. So, um, I just started doing it met people interesting people and sort of got hooked on it the, the, when i what, when i first got on vr chat it was back during the pandemic a friend of mine had said that there were some interesting people on here that were like into wild stuff frankly it was it was the wrong kind of humor that they were going in for but i sort of thought it would be interesting to come on and see what was going on I didn't realize you could come on here in desktop, so I did, and I had sort of a rule of I will see what's going on, but not sort of how I would be outside. We're not judging, right? So I was told that there was any number of awesome, crazy stuff going on in here, so I thought I'd come and have a look. And then I went to the fair hub and saw somebody that was a Navali, yeah, this little thing, and they were in character and didn't speak. So they were sort of chirping and everything like that. So I could sort of open up and ask with kind of yes or no sort of questions, you know. And after a little while, they sort of felt comfortable to open up. And so they turned the mic on and then... And I'm still sort of friends with them now. I don't see them all the time, but that was a couple of years ago now. And so that was how I got on here. And it was to kind of see different ways of thinking. And eventually I turned gay, mostly trans, and moved halfway up the country. And then drank a lot of booze. A lot of booze. There was an awful lot of that. When we figured out that, hey, actually, we're 25, mostly in our 20s, everybody looks much better than we do in real life. And we can drink. There you go. There you go. It's all fine. Right? Like they, that's the way. Uh, one of my good friends from way back in the day, pretty much when VR came out, uh, told me about it. And I had to, you know, check it out for myself on desktop. And I absolutely loved it. <laughs> it's really hard to get me off of here. How has VR affected your life? I think that it's it's made me more outgoing than I was initially. I mean, I feel like I can speak more easily with even random people nowadays than I did when I initially started. Um, also, how it's affected me, I mean, I've tried to always keep it to real-life friends over VR friends. Because real-life friends you can actually interact with and touch and like poke fun of in a different way um yeah i think even though i mostly kept it to that sometimes i've just felt like yeah VR is more fun i'm just gonna go with that instead and i've actually declined stuff just because to, i want to hang out in vr instead i mean from a mental standpoint i think I initially thought I had a firm grip of myself, and I've been on a roller coaster. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's not all been good. Um, it has been mostly good though. Uh, the bad stuff has been like drama stuff, right? So it's sort of like stuff that you wouldn't think of as being existential, but meaningful, right? And that is something that is almost welcome. It's almost welcome. Right, because you kind of want that kind of, you know, you, you come out of here. If you if you were to show up at a place and there was someone that you didn't like, you can't just hide them. You can't just they're just not there anymore. So people on here tend to have a tendency to not block people as frivolously to maintain that animosity. Right, like they will keep that. I'm not a huge fan of that person over there, but they, I can still see them. Because if, you were, if you've got a situation where a couple of people have blocked each other, you can get these circles where it's now conversations disconnected. Half the people can't hear each other. Right? And that's no good. So if there are fallouts, some, if it's big, right, it, it does. It, but if you've got a community, 
people will very often just avoid each other than hide each other, I found. Which is a very interesting thing. And that's where the depth of it all comes in. I, like, it's, it's, it's not just this kind of... Because I played for about eight months just on desktop, and the game's totally different. Uh, you, it's different people, it's different attitudes, it's different funnies, but it's no worse. It definitely made me start drinking more, that's for sure. Uh, which, you know, isn't necessarily a good thing. But, overall it was just fantastic. I got to meet some really great people, and so many friendships that I don't think I'd ever be able to let go. Um, I don't think it's really affected me in the real world, but definitely on the internet side of things, it definitely has opened up a lot of doors, and one of them being mental health issues I've definitely discovered. Uh, more, I mm. think. Would you recommend VR to anyone else? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, you say yes because uh, titties. <laughs> I mean, I would say yes because no of idea. titties, but um, I don't know. <laughs> if you want to keep some resemblance of sanity, uh, he remembers me. Be careful. I remember you two being a double act, but and yes, the double I would act recommend wasn't it. together. No, I don't think I would. Why? Because I've suggested lots of different things over the years to people and I have had lots of different suggestions suggested at me. But it's kind of shot in the dark. So like I'm I'm a sales guy. So I kind of understand that there's a, there's a difference between an open question and a closed one. A closed one is like do you want to play this? It's yes or no. Or mm. what do you like to play? Mm. Right? So the answer to do you mm -hmm. want to play this is always going to be no more often than you're going to get positive re answers to what do you like to play. Mm. Not everybody likes VR and not everybody's going to understand it. You kind of just have to see it and be shown it to understand that it's a parallel to what you might find out there. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I've actually done it. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, yeah. See, um, I've gotten a few of my family members on here and a couple of my friends to get on and try it out and stuff. And uh, I just remember this one time my sister was sitting there crying because she was fighting with her boyfriend and she was just going through this little situation. And I was like, here, just put on my headset. Just just for a few minutes. And she put it on and she starts laughing and like, I think I was at a Club World dancing at the time, but she's just laughing because there's just a random goose over there screaming in her face or something. It's something stupid, but she just instantly stopped worrying about whatever was going on and it just cheered her right up.